Holy moly, 200 plus tabs. Finally, that moment has arrived. Microsoft Edge, after years of refinement, is better than Chrome, or is it? Well, we'll find out in this video under the following categories, from personalization, speed, and features. So let's start off with personalization. In both browsers, you can set the theme to whatever you want, a single color, one of the presets, change between light and dark mode, change the background, modify a new new tab page. But about that new tab page, Chrome allows you to put whatever link you want as your new tab, while Edge forces you to use their own new tab page or directly copilot, which I am not a fan of. About the user interface, they are both easy to navigate through, but Chrome looks more polished and refined as a whole. Both the browsers have this rounded corner theme, which goes hand in hand with Windows 11, but I'm not a fan of a game. What I really don't like again is the favorites bar on Google Chrome, it's so bulky and wastes so much space. But you know, these are personal preferences. You can modify your menu bar, like whether you want to have the extensions up there or your favorites, homepage, etc. This category has to go to Chrome, yes you can modify your new tab page on Edge, but I think Chrome did it in a better way. Now talking about speed. Microsoft Edge seems to be consuming less memory and power, but I see it a little misleading as there are two edges and I don't know what they mean separately, so take that with a pinch of salt. And next, this, this was a pain to do, but here we are, I actually did this. So Chrome consistently opens up twice as quicker as Edge, but what I really find revealing was the number of tabs that they can open after being turned on. For this I tried to open as many YouTube tabs as possible and yes I did them all manually for half an hour so you may like and subscribe that'll really help thank you. Anyways after minutes of duplicating tabs on edge I reached 185 tabs before it crashed. I mean, realistically, you won't need this many tabs, but yeah, you can reach 185, I guess. While on Google Chrome, those numbers were noticeably higher at 245 tabs. Yeah, you can read the control variables in the description about the type of computer, RAM, the, what I kept fair, etc. So at this point, this point has to go to Google Chrome. Nice job, Google. And I don't feel my fingers anymore. Great, ha. Huh. Talking about features, on both you can pin tabs and group tabs, making tab islands. They both adapt to the tablet mode on your computer, which is nice, but Edge can have also vertical tabs, though I doubt how many people actually use it. It has the sidebar and a now playing menu. You can also mute tabs by clicking on the speaker icon and it has a five gigabytes of free VPN to access Instagram or whatever you're using on your restricted school Wi-Fi, which Google Chrome does not have. As both these browsers are Chromium based, they both support Google Chrome extensions, but Edge has also their version of the extension store, so if you're really desperate and what you're searching for isn't on the Chrome web store, I guess you can download it on the Edge store, I, mean, I don't know if they call it like that or not. Anyways, Microsoft Edge has these myriad of different tools that you can use to find coupons. You can read aloud, you can cast a device and developer options, which I find pretty neat. They make your life pretty easy. In Chrome, everything is very plain. You need to add equivalent extensions from the extension store to get the same functionality like the VPN. One more thing, Edge has this the, this built-in ad blocker, which I use always, while Google Chrome, again, you need to download it from the web store. Both can monitor the power usage and put unused tabs to sleep to reduce the consumption. But amongst all of these, for me, as a student that has to deal with PDFs every single day, the Microsoft Edge PDF editor is like a savior. I can't stress out how much I like this. It's not 10 times better, it's not 100 times better, it's Google Plex times better. Ha, huh. very, very funny joke. Yeah, I just cut this part off. Anyways, 
The PDF editor on Google Chrome just makes you underline things and underline things. While on Microsoft Edge, you can highlight, underline, ask the copilot, I'm not gonna ask it. You can add text, remove text, read aloud even. I think it's just much better, honestly. It just makes my life much easier as a student. And that's a good thing, you know. Anyways, this was the 2025 edition of Microsoft Edge versus Google Chrome. So I think in the end, no, no, it actually does matter because if you are a student, I encourage you to use Microsoft Edge as it has all these plethora of, of functionalities that just makes your life easier. But if you're a normal guy just watching YouTube and chilling, you can just use Google Chrome because it apparently uses less distant resources. So there you have your response. Let me know what you think below and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.